Hello from San Antonio, this is Siren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. Who regrets letting you go? This reading is timeless, and for this reading, I'm using four different decks. I'll shuffle and pull four cards from each deck to form four different piles. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. These need a good hard shuffle. I've not used these in a while. The Aquarian Tarot. Uno Moss. Uno Dos Tres Cuatro. Uno Dos Tres. Cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, 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 cuatro. Bueno, four beautiful piles. This is pile one. Extreme close up. This is pile two. This is pile three. And this is pile four.
if you chose pile one, here is your reading. Eight of Wands, Westerlin Z, or Westerlin Two. It's impossible to tell the Zs from the Twos. A star cluster about 20,000 light years from Earth. Probably Westerlin Two. Queen of Cups, the Eagle Nebula. A new look at the famous pillars of creation, allowing astronomers to peer inside the dark columns of gas and dust. Three of Cups, G350.1-0.3, a supernova remnant located about 14,700 light years from Earth toward the center of the Milky Way. Night of Wands. <clears throat> 47 Tucani, a globular cluster located about 15,000 light years from Earth. Tres de Bastos, Three of Wands. La Templanza, Temperance. Cinco de Copas, Five of Cups. Caballo de Copas, Knight of Cups. The Star. Ace of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Death. Ace of Wands. The Hanged Man. The Tower. This person is still in love with you. If you chose Pile One, you definitely had intense involvement with this person. Uh, at the very least, you probably lived together. You may not have been married, but I feel like you did live together. I'm seeing a lot of sex. I'm seeing a lot of intense 3D exchange. This person lost you because they weren't emotionally available and they couldn't make that commitment. I feel like you wanted marriage and this person was very hesitant. Um, they just weren't sure and so you left. And they regard you as the love of their life with Queen of Cups twice and Queen of Cups under Knight of Cups and Knight of Wands. And the Queen of Cups over the tower, when you left, it wrecked this person's world. They're still missing you. Uh, they may be in another relationship. If they are, it's not substantial. I see them possibly talking to different people and having just these very insubstantial sex-based relationships where there are no feelings involved and they're trying to find someone who can make them forget about you but that's impossible they'll never forget you because you're the love of this person's life so you probably have strong water in your chart <clears throat> i'm seeing scorpio but you could have Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. You and this person probably have really good moon synastry. You could have Sun, Moon, 
or moon moon uh, the sun moon conjunction that's an indication of soulmates so one example of many say you have your son at 13 Scorpio and this person has his or her moon at 15 Scorpio so tight conjunction or you could have your moons conjunct your moons in opposition perhaps but tight or five degrees or less this person still dreams of you they still have pictures of you and they still talk about you to their closest friends and family um, they regard you as the one that got away they can't release this and with this ace of wands it's very likely this person is going to come back into your life I see someone who's very creative they could be a writer they could be a poet they could be a musician they could be an artist I feel like you're this person's muse I feel like they're still creating art inspired by you um, and they could come back with a really romantic gesture telling you I created this for you this poem is for you this song is for you something similar I'm hearing Sarah by Bob Dylan um, his album blood on the tracks which came out in the 70s was about his very painful divorce from the love of his life his ex-wife Sarah the mother of his children and then after blood on the tracks I don't know which album this was on but he recorded this beautiful love song for his ex-wife called Sarah and she was there I think in the recording studio when he actually recorded the song and it just blew her mind she couldn't fathom that he still loved her so much after all those years after the divorce so that's the energy of this um, this is substantial this is not the energy of two people who just talked on the internet and never met in person uh, this is the energy of a really intense relationship deeply gratifying sex deep emotions you probably both have a lot of water in your natal charts you could have water and fire but yeah they lost you because they couldn't make that commitment you felt like you loved them more than they loved you they weren't able to express their love very well so really for pile one it wasn't a matter of them letting you go you just left you left in a dramatic way Yeah, really intense moon sinistry. You could have moon Pluto as well. Two is Cancer, the moon. One is Leo, the sun. I'm seeing singularity here. Um, they're not ever going to be able to replace you. Four, Aquarius, and I'm seeing four of wands. And six is Venus. So it is possible for pile one that they're going to come back into your life and the two of you could create the four of wands the ten of cups the ten of pentacles together there is potential for marriage here so that's what i have for pile one if that resonates let me know like comment share subscribe click the bell for notifications which is gracias and if you chose pile two by the Pentacles, NGC 6826, a planetary nebula located less than 5,000 light years from Earth.
Three of Swords, PSR B1509-58. A 1700 year old pulsar in its nebula located about 17,000 light years from Earth. <clears throat> Three of Wands, Carina Nebula. A star forming region about 7,500 light years from Earth. Four of Wands, BP PSC. A sun-like star in its red giant phase about 1,000 light years from Earth. <clears throat> Siete de Oro, Seven of Pentacles. El Diablo, the Devil. Dos de Bastos, Two of Wands. Ocho de Copas, Eight of Cups. Six of Pentacles. The Magician. King of Wands. Page of Swords, Page of Cups, Two of Wands, The Hermit, The Judgment. This person had a choice to make and they chose someone else. This was probably third party. Um, it could be when you met this person, they were going through a separation. They may have been going through a divorce, but I feel like they went back to their ex. I feel like the divorce was not finalized. They decided to call it off. Uh, they chose this person over you because this person is their safe bet. This person is Familiar, this is someone they've known for years. They could have children with this person. And you were too much of a challenge for this person. Um, they felt like they couldn't keep up. They felt like the two of you were not an energetic match. Um, I feel like this was a really intense connection, but I don't think it ever went to the next level. It never became a full-fledged relationship. There may have been intense conversations, flirtation. They may have thought about getting involved with you and they chose not to. Um, religion could play a factor. It could be that you and this person just had too much against you. There could have been tremendous distance, um, an age gap, you could have come from different cultures. And so they chose someone who seems like the more obvious choice, someone that they do have a lot in common with, you know. They couldn't figure out what was going on between the two of you. It was a very intense connection they probably never experienced before. Um, And to them, it didn't make any sense in the 3D. They feel inferior to you in some way. There were romantic feelings, but there was not a balanced exchange. I'm not seeing shared values and interest. I'm not seeing consistent communication. This person could have an addiction. Um, it could be they like the thrill of the chase, but they're very fickle. Once they know they have someone, they lose interest. So, immaturity.
I'm seeing Gemini and Sagittarius. So one example of many, they could have Sun and Gemini, Moon and Sagittarius. Virgo rising. This person does not have a lot of friends. They don't let people get too close to them. And I feel like they opened up to you in a way they don't usually open up to people. You felt the connection immediately and you wanted to work toward the Four of Wands with this person. But you walked away because you saw that this just wasn't going to come together in the 3D. You both walked away from this. Um, I don't feel like it was that dramatic because, again, I'm not seeing a real relationship here. I'm seeing a connection. So, usually, if I'm confused by a spread, if it's not as clear as I would like it to be, I find clarity in the last row. But since I'm not really finding a lot of clarity or a lot of astrology here, I'm not finding a lot of energy, I would say that the two of you probably just didn't really know each other. You didn't get to that point where you really revealed yourselves to each other. So they may view you as a lost opportunity. Um, they may regret walking away from this because the person they chose, who I see as probably their wife or husband, doesn't present any challenges. This person is someone they've known for years and it's probably grown stale. They're probably bored. Um, and you intrigued them. They wanted to get to know you better. They wanted to have something more substantial, but it just didn't work out that way. It was, I don't know, bad timing. They were too scared to take the risk. They were scared of rejection, so they just didn't go there. Um, you probably have a lot of Earth in your chart. <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. I don't feel like you'll hear from this person again. I feel like there are too many blocks. With all this Earth and all this major arcana, um, we don't have any nights. If they do reach out to you again, I feel like it will be pretty minimal. I feel like they've made their choice and they're not that happy with their choice, but they're resigned. They're thinking, this is my life, this is what I've chosen, and they see you as a missed opportunity. That's what I'm getting for pile two. You were a risk they chose not to take. Feel like you do have moon sinistry. They sensed potential with you and the potential just wasn't realized because they didn't take the risk. Two twos, cancer, the moon. So your moons could be conjunct, an opposition, um, square, tight or five degrees or less. Four, Aquarius and the four of wands. And five, Mercury, which rules Gemini. And Virgo, and I am seeing, well, we have the Magician Gemini and the Hermit Virgo. So, that's what I have for Pile 2. If that resonates, please let me know. Like, comment, share, subscribe, which is process. And if you chose Pile 3, we have Knight of Cups, Cygnus X-1. A stellar mass black hole in orbit with a companion star about 6,000 light years away. King of Cups, 
G299.2-2.9. The twos look just like C's. A supernova remnant in the Milky Way about 16,000 light years from Earth. Ace of Wands, Cat's Eye Nebula. A planetary nebula located less than 5,000 light years from Earth. Two of Wands, Tarantula Nebula. A large region of star formation, that's a typo, a large region of star formations about 160,000 light years away in a large Magellanic cloud. Cuatro de Copas, Four of Cups. Ocho de Espadas, Eight of Swords. Nueve de Bastos, Nine of Wands. Slip de Copas, Page of Cups. Queen of Wands, Six of Swords, Six of Wands, The Tower, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, The Hierophant, Five of Pentacles. Okay, I am seeing marriage for pile three. <clears throat> And all these signifiers, uh, Queen of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, all these signifiers, King of Cups, well, that's three, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles next to the Hierophant, Marriage. Yeah, Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, King of Cups. I'm seeing a marriage that ended in divorce. So this is an ex-husband or ex-wife. Um, I feel like this marriage ended because it was third party. And your ex could have traveled for work. So, there was a lot of separation within the marriage. You weren't together much, and that's why it became third party at some point. Um, I see desolation. I feel like they've not had much of a life since this marriage ended. Um, they are still holding on. But I feel like you've moved away from this. Um, you've probably moved on to other relationships. And I feel like you're probably in a pretty high vibration. Um... And you may have been the one who wanted this divorce. But what I see here is an ex who is still holding on. And I'm seeing a dramatic divorce. There could be children involved. So with all of this, it's kind of hard to point out a signifier or to point out an astrological combo. Um... You could both have strong fire in your natal charts, fire and water. So one example of many, you could have sun in Aries, moon in Cancer. Your ex could have sun in Sagittarius, moon in Pisces. There's a lot of history here for pile three. but I'm seeing a very acrimonious divorce. There were a lot of things to split up. Um, property, and there's probably joint custody of young children is what I'm picking up. And 
and you may have tried to reconcile at some point, but it didn't work out. You've moved on from this. That's what I'm picking up for pile three. Okay, two twos, that's Cancer the Moon. You could have, for this, really I'm getting mediocre moon synastry. Um, usually when I have two twos, I think it's really good moon synastry, but looking at this in the context of these cards, I would say that that was one of the contributing factors to the divorce, the two of you never really understood each other. You weren't on the same emotional wavelength. So I'm not really seeing good moon sinistry for pile three. One, Leo the sun, and five, Mercury, which rules Gemini and Virgo. I feel like communication was just terrible. Um, there was a profound lack of understanding for this relationship. So that's what I have for pile three. If that resonates, let me know. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Muchas gracias. And if you chose pile four, we have King of Wands, Vela Pulsar Jet, a rapidly rotating neutron star in the Vela Supernova Remnant. Three of Pentacles, Antonai, a pair of colliding galaxies about 60 million light years from Earth. Seven of Swords, ARP 147, a galaxy about 430 million light years from Earth. Ten of Cups, Puppis A, a supernova remnant located about 7,000 light years from Earth. Los Enamorados, the Lovers. La Torre, the Tower. La Empress, the Empress. I'm sure I butchered the hell out of that. Ocho de Bastos, Eight of Wands, The World, El Mundo, Seven of Cups, Four of Wands, Six of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the sun, and ten of cups. Okay, this is similar to pile three. I'm seeing marriage and divorce. This last row, ten of cups, sandwiching, the eight of wands, and six of cups. This is someone you had a really strong, passionate, deeply felt relationship with at some point. I feel like you did have children together or at least one child. But I'm seeing a very blissful marriage that eventually it fell apart and it resulted in divorce. This is a really energetic connection. Could be a spiritual connection. So I'm not sure why this resulted in divorce. Um, I don't like just spitting out various possibilities. I like to stick to one narrative, but this is really complicated. So it could be that this was third party. Um, And it could be that this person chose their spouse over you. It could also be the two of you lived together and you talked about marriage, promises were made and then it all just fell apart. And I'm not clear on what happened. I feel like there was some cheating involved with Seven of Swords. Um, they could have had this really intense connection with you. And then they got someone else pregnant. 
You could have been on a break. You could have been separated. And during separation, during the break, they got someone else pregnant. So I'm seeing all kinds of stuff for pile four, but this is very intense 3D involvement. Uh, a lot of energy was exchanged. So this is not the energy of two people who were just talking or two people who just met online and never really met in person. Uh, this is a full-fledged, balls-to-the-wall relationship. I'm seeing a lot of in-depth conversations and eye contact and you created a world together. Um, but now I feel like you are single. You're working on yourself, your life, your abundance. And I feel like this person is with someone else. I feel like they're married to someone. King of Wands, so they could have strong fire, seeing Leo. But they could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. They could also have stuff in air. I'm seeing Gemini. They could have Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Um... You could have strong Virgo and Taurus in your natal chart. Um, one possible astro combo, you could have Sun and Virgo, Moon and Taurus, Aries rising. But I'm seeing a really dramatic ending here. I feel like you both put each other on a pedestal. You both saw each other through rose-colored glasses. Um, but marriage is so strong here with four of wands and ten of cups twice. I don't usually do this because I feel like this is enough cards to tell a story, but I'm really confused by the spread. I would like to clear it up. Please provide an energetic summation and three additional cards. Good hard shuffle. Uno mas. Yeah, marriage. El sumo sacerdote, the hierophant. <laughs> Look at this. La justicia, justice. Rey de Oros, King of Pentacles. I'm going to go with this narrative. This is what I'm really picking up for Pile 4. And of course, this won't be everyone's story. That's impossible. Just take what resonates. It may not resonate at all, but um, this is the narrative that I'm going to stick with for Pile 4. This was third party. When you met this person, their marriage could have been stale. They could have told you that they were married for religious reasons. Uh, they could tell you that they married this person because of a pregnancy. But there were no feelings. And they had this intense connection with you, unlike anything they'd ever experienced before. Um, you could regard this person as a soulmate or a twin flame. So there's a lot of love here. This is a once in a lifetime connection, but they chose to stay in their marriage or to go back to their wife or husband. And I feel like they had another child with their partner. And so they made a complicated situation even more complicated by having another pregnancy is the way I see it. I'm seeing a lot of drama here, a lot of hurt feelings. Um, so they left you high and dry. They left you out in the code. They turned their back on this connection. 
and they do regret it. They feel like a coward because they chose the easy path, the path of least resistance. But it's complicated because we're talking about religion and culture and morality, you know, all the fun stuff of the 3D. So it's probably not fair to say they're a coward, but that's what I'm getting. They feel like they took the safe route. They, they feel like they have the strongest spiritual connection with you. But they chose to stay in this marriage is what I'm picking up. And there are children involved. And very controlling families. This person's family and their husband or wife's family, their parents. A lot of people are involved in this. It wasn't just the two of you. And so the odds were stacked against you from the beginning. So that's what I have for pile four. If that resonates, please let me know. And that does conclude this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.